Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in my tiny house uh, and living a tiny lifestyle and living a more intentional life. Uh, today is the next in the van build series. I can't remember what we're up to, seven, six, I'm not sure. Uh, but today I'm gonna talk about how I uh, built my little kitchenette, the unit that I purchased, and how I have my running water system set up, which I'm kind of proud of because I don't have a permanent build out yet, so I don't have permanent plumbing or anything like that, but I did want to be able to have some sort of running water when I took it out. And I just got back from camping. It's a long weekend here in uh, Canada. I think it's a long weekend, Labor Day weekend for you guys in the US as well. Don't quote me on that. It's Sunday, I just got home from camping and um, it has worked, it's working so well. So I'm gonna just give you a quick tour of my kitchenette, show you how I cook, um, how I do dishes, my water setup, and the unit that I purchased from Ikea. So first thing you're gonna see when you open up the door to the van is that I have my little kitchen unit actually facing, uh, backing up to the sliding door. At first, I had put it against the far wall so that you saw it as soon as you opened the door, it was right there. But it just seemed to be, to me, to be a waste of a nice solid wall. And I didn't necessarily want my kitchen to be the first thing that I saw or anybody saw when they went into my van. So I actually have my kitchenette on the sliding door. Let me show you what it looks like. I've opened my back door so you can get a better idea and actually have better lighting. So you've already seen my bed set up, but this is the kitchenette unit that I bought from Ikea um, and it's called the Sonersta system. And I'm just gonna put in a little footage right now of me building the unit. So the kitchenette unit that I bought is this Sonersta kitchenette. Now it is fairly lightweight and really maybe not super heavy duty, but the thing is that it's not meant for a permanent installation. This is something to use until I do my full fit out, but for now, this is what I'm gonna use. It comes with a decent sized sink, I think. I mean, that's fairly deep, deep enough for what I need. So I'm gonna build this. Cue the fast forward. Now I know this is not how I'm supposed to have my camera oriented when I'm filming for YouTube, but it's just so much easier to see the setup if I do it this way. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So what I've done is I've, I've uh, set up the unit here against, the, like I say, the sliding glass door. So part of it is actually exposed. I don't really care about that. I really love this little kitchenette unit because it comes with a built-in sink. 
and I just have this uh, little tub here. Oops, made a sandwich on my drive home. Um, it comes with a built-in sink, which is actually plenty deep enough for washing dishes. I have no problem at all with that. And some countertop, which is awesome. Also, you can get these little bins, which I have found to be so useful because um, you just want to have some things stored away that you don't want to have to pull out every single time you need them. So that's really useful. I have a little drying mat that I pull out when I'm doing dishes. But I leave it here and if I'm just washing a cup or a bowl or something, I just set it there to dry. And then I have my bathroom <laughs> toiletries here. I usually hang my toiletries bag from here. And then um, this Sinestra, Sinestra, whatever it's called, uh, uh, set also comes with a paper towel dispenser, which is awesome. But you do have to put a bungee across it, otherwise it flies off or the <laughs> paper towels unravel. So really simple setup. I cook mostly on a butane stove, um, sometimes outside, sometimes inside. If I cook inside, I obviously crack the door and my max air fan but that works really well because usually I'm only using one pot I do have a two burner Coleman stove that I can use as well but um, the butane stove works perfectly and then I found this little drawer unit at Walmart and it's brilliant because most of these drawers when you're traveling they just slide out well this one's got a little lock on it these these drawers so you lock them when you're traveling and they don't uh, they don't come unlocked it's brilliant I gotta say I am just thrilled with that little system and I've just got it bungeed on <laughs> hot water bottle which you really need right now and then I actually just bungee my garbage can there too I have a little bin here that I keep extra food in uh, and it slides under there. So let me show you my water system. What I did was, I'll start with the tap. This is a USB rechargeable tap. You just plug it in back here and it recharges and supposedly the one charge is enough to do five five gallon water jugs. I've not tested it out but it works brilliantly because you can like I say, have running water without having to have plumbing or anything like that. Um, so it comes with a hose, but it's a really thin hose and it actually is bent. It's kinked when they send it to you, which is ridiculous. I ended up ordering online food grade hosing uh, because I knew I was going to be using it for drinking water as well. And so that goes into the sink. But before I turn it on, I just want to show you the system down here. This is my fresh water jug I take it inside obviously when I'm not out and about and I've um, just put some tape there so this stays and it's nice and secure no dust or anything can get in there and that runs up to the sink and then because I don't have a great water tank or anything like that I have done like I say the bare minimum super simple system this is a smaller jug that is just for dirty water and I basically just put a funnel there because this IKEA sinks, you, the drains um, come like this. This is super simple and it's secure. It's empty right now because I empty it every night. I just take it to the either outhouse or the flushing toilets at whatever campground or wherever I am or in town if I'm at a gas station and just dump it in there because it's just soapy water and I use a biodegradable detergent, but I don't pour it on the ground. I dispose of it into a pit toilet or a flushing toilet and uh, and I just do that every day or two so it nothing stays in there long enough to smell and then when I get home I wash it out with soapy water and a little bit of bleach afterwards and let it dry really well so that is my system for now let me show you how well this works so you can see just how simple your setup can be um, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get running water in your van when you're just doing a quick uh, build up. There might be a little air in here because I've been driving so. Okay so there's running water and you can see there it's going into the funnel. It's as simple as that. Doesn't get any easier. When I'm washing dishes I usually use this 
um, in there so I don't I have a smaller tub to put some soapy water in but you don't have to you can do it straight in there and then I also got this cutting board from Ikea it doesn't fit perfectly in there I do have to sand down one edge a little bit on underneath um, but it's great for giving me extra counter space when I'm cooking when I don't need the sink and it just works so well and then um, up here I have my little hello <laughs> my little mirror for when I'm um, washing my face in the morning uh, or brushing my teeth I suppose I should turn you the right way around now <laughs> anyways as I was saying here is my kitchen setup I've used it twice now and it has worked perfectly um, I do really love this little drawer unit I think that that is brilliant it's bungee down so it doesn't move anywhere and it holds my cutlery my pots everything that I need spices things like that and it stays put and it locks so I never have to worry about anything opening and going flying when I'm driving I actually put this away in its case and then tuck it up there when I'm driving so it doesn't stay out when I'm driving uh, but really everything else basically stays when I'm driving it doesn't go anywhere um, these things are on here pretty secure I really hope that you know you guys uh, take this idea so what I did here I don't think I mentioned is I glued um, I got some really strong glue uh, that is meant for plastic and I glued magnets on the bottom of this because this is stainless steel so that sticks and it doesn't slide around when I'm driving and it stays put so you end up having a nice tap for with running water for your kitchen without having to do complicated plumbing and I just fill up my fresh water jug from my kitchen uh, tap here I keep a second um, I think it's like three liter jug full of fresh water in, an, in a bin under here uh, in case I run out for drinking water uh, because I, I don't you know I just want to be sure that I have some safe drinking water and then that's it it's worked really well I have been able to cook make coffee in the morning and just you know make sandwiches everything that you want to do I've been down some bumpy gravel roads and everything has stayed in place um, but like I say I don't leave this out when I'm driving this little unit is the best money that I've spent um, and it's nice and secure to the frame of the van with multiple bungee straps that is my kitchenette <laughs> I will link the the tap from Amazon and the hosing that I purchased down below um, and I will put the information for the IKEA kitchen unit down there as well um, I worried that maybe the sink was going to be too small but seriously it's not if it's everything that I need perfectly and then the jugs are just jugs that you would buy for camping that are meant for holding actual drinking water and then I just use a cooler with ice I'm just loving getting this van out and usable um, you know yes there's some things I still want to do lots of things that I still want to do but this was the main step that I wanted to get done so I could get it usable and out that is my kitchen setup in the van in my no build van build uh, I hope it gives you some ideas take care guys and I'll see you next week